Good morning, everyone. It is an honor to be here with the members of the Congressional Black Caucus, House and Senate, our distinguished chair, Karen Bass, Senator Booker, Senator Harris, the distinguished leader, uh, Democratic leader of the Senate, Mr. Schumer. We are gathered here in Emancipation Hall, aptly named for those who built the Capitol, sadly. Last summer, a number of us, under the leadership of Karen Bass, went to Ghana to observe the 400th anniversary of the first slaves coming across the Atlantic. That tragedy, that tragedy, that horror of history, and then slavery in our own country, and then all of the consequences of that. We are here to observe that pain. We are here to respect the actions of the American people to speak out against that, specifically manifested in police brutality. We are here to honor George Floyd. In a moment, we will have a moment of silence, actually eight minutes and 46 seconds of silence in honor of George Floyd and so many others who lost their lives or were abused by police brutality. Before that, I want to yield to the distinguished leader of the Senate, Mr. Schumer. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you for this profound and important moment before we go forward with our strong and comprehensive legislation. Now, Senate Democrats uh, held a similar moment of silence last week, where we stood for eight minutes and 46 seconds to mark the horrible death of George Floyd. To every one of us, it was excruciating. It seemed an unbearably long amount of time. Felt so, it felt so painful to get even an inkling of how this man and so many other black Americans have suffered for so long. Every American should try to stand in silence for eight minutes and 46 seconds to acknowledge the pain of George Floyd and the pain of racism. When we gather in this grand hall for ceremonies, we usually begin with the Pledge of Allegiance, ending with those three words, justice for all. Today, as we stand in silence, rather than in a spoken pledge, let us reflect on those words, justice for all, and what we need to do to make those words actually true in our time for black Americans and all Americans. Madam Speaker. Thank you very much, Mr. Leader. Uh, before we have our moment of silence, which, as you indicated, is a very long time, especially with someone's knee on your neck, uh, we gather in honor of those Americans and so many others, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Amon Arbery, Botham Jean, Terrence Kutcher, Jordan Davis, Oscar Grant, Philando Castile, Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, Tamir Rice, Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin. Any other names, members? Sean Bell, Jordan Davis, Freddie Gray. Hugh Love, Alphon Taylor. We'll now, um, well, during the moment of silence, I'm sure that those who have been uh, hurt by all of this won't mind if you shout out names then. For those who wish to, we will now kneel for our moment of silence.
<laughs> it's better not to have on high heels. <laughs> You see how long it was to have that knee with his neck. Great. Thank you all. We'll now proceed to Studio A for the press conference. Please follow me this way.